Okay, graphing reflections with exponential functions. So our goal on this first one is we want to graph negative one multiplied by two to the x power. So notice there's no parentheses around the negative two. Our base is not allowed to be a negative number on exponential functions anyway. So this is equivalent to negative one multiplied by the quantity two raised to the x power. So to get going on this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with two to the x's graph, where I have these key points zero, one, and one, two. Um, when we have this negative, negative always means some sort of reflection. All right, this is a reflection attached to the entire function. So sometimes we refer to this as a vertical reflection. Or a reflection um, with respect to the x-axis. This graph has been reflected with respect to the x-axis. So this negative is attached to the entire function. That's important to note. This means negative one multiplied by two to the x power. So over on the left-hand side, you can see we've represented our y values with two to the x. So what's happening to all of our y values over here is we're multiplying each one of them by negative one. So what we can do is we can use our key points that we've already identified on the left-hand side, multiply each one of those y values by negative one, and we get key points on our new graph. So two times negative one is negative two. One times negative one is negative one. So our key points here, let's go ahead and plot these. We have one negative two and we have zero negative one. What's gonna happen on this graph is it's been flipped upside down. So let's kind of sketch in the rest of it and you can see what this is gonna look like in comparison to our original graph. So what's happened here is all these points that were above the x-axis, they've reversed, they've flipped down below here um, to be in below the x-axis, but it should look like the exact same graph as what we have here, except it's been flipped upside down. Identify those key points and you should be fine on this. Now the horizontal asymptote is still at the x-axis when y equals zero. As we approach that, as we go off to the left-hand side, the difference is before we are approaching it from above, now we're approaching from below. Um, domain is still negative to positive infinity. We can plug in any x value we want in this. All right, one more type of transformation here. Very similar that we're looking at two to the x power, but this is two to the negative x power. So again, this is gonna mean a reflection as negatives always mean some sort of reflection. This one I would categorize as being attached directly to x. So whenever we attach something directly to x, it's gonna have a horizontal shift. So I would classify this as a horizontal reflection or sometimes we would say this is reflected with respect to the y-axis. So what happens here is the negative is affecting the x directly. So our key points over on the left-hand side, what we're gonna do in this case is we're going to multiply the x value by negative one. And each one of these points is gonna basically shift um, to the other side of the y-axis. So identifying these key points, we can say instead of one, two, it's gonna be negative one, two, we don't affect the y value. And zero, one, zero times negative one is still zero. And I just focus on two key points. You could use more than that. But let's go ahead and plot these. We have uh, zero, one, and negative one, two. So what's going to happen on this is we have this graph just coming down. And it's going to get closer to the x-axis over on the right-hand side. So we still have the same horizontal asymptote going on at the x-axis, or y equals zero. But instead of increasing without bound, as two to the x is, this one decreases without bound. And it may be worth noting, this is the same thing as the graph of um, two to the negative first raised to the x power, which is the same thing as one half raised to the x power. Um, but you don't have to do this reformatting of our problem. Just remember, if you have a negative attached directly to x, what that's gonna to do to our key points is it's like multiplying our x values for each one of the key points by negative one. So I hope this helps out as we're trying to graph exponential functions using reflections. Good luck.